afternoon by Parker Klingham. Parker. Thank you, Marty. Here I'm down at from one end of your garage to this garage, the 39 car of Ryan Sieg and the Uncle Bob Storrs Chevy. They were third in practice last session. I went up to the team and I asked, hey, what do you think about that? And they looked at me at a massive bit of, of, of surprise as they were surprised by that speed as well. In this practice, they'll be focusing on the race practice as well, getting away from that qual trim that put them third on the board last practice. Good run there by Ryan C. Cowboy. You know, that's interesting to listen right there. This is one of the few racetracks that we go to that you, as a crew chief, you actually can stand on top of the truck and see the turn so yeah. well that you can see what the car is doing and actually help the driver sometimes when, you know, maybe they don't they don't feel it or don't see the where everybody else is in the racetrack and you know that you need your car to get there and so you actually see, you know, yeah. where you want to go. No, and that makes perfect sense because as a driver, you only see out the windshield <laughs> and, and that's all you see, okay? And, and the crew chief can see the big picture. Big picture for Ryan Sieg. He's a young driver who's uh, making his way here in the Xfinity Series. Had a good run earlier this afternoon. We mentioned the possibility of a little weather snuffing out qualifying tomorrow morning. So first practice speeds are critical. He was third after making a mock qualifying run. So the Tucker Georgia native getting a good run now around New Hampshire in final practice. Another young driver who's getting a few starts this year for the H. Scott